In this lesson, I'll show you how to find the voltage and current across each resistor in this circuit. The question reads, find the voltage and current across each resistor in the following circuit. As you can tell, we have four resistors labeled R1 through R4, and we have a power source that is 27 volts. When it comes to tackling these types of problems, you need to reduce the circuit down to a simple circuit with one resistor and the power source. And the way we do that is by using the following formulas for resistors that are in parallel and for resistors that are in series. As you can see, R1 and R2 are in parallel. So we can reduce this down into a single resistor by using this formula shown here. Let me show you how to work this formula. So our new resistor, which combines these two, we can call it anything. Let's call it RA for simplicity. And to find RA, we take 1 over RA, or the reciprocal of RA, and that's equal to the sum of the reciprocal of R1 and R2. That's written as 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2. Let's fill in R1 and R2 with their resistance, and that's provided over here. From here, I'll use my calculator to find out RA. So I take 1 divided by 21.2, and notice that I place them in parentheses. Each fraction is placed in their own parentheses, plus 1 over 31.1. Your calculator should end up giving you a value that's like this, 0 0.0793. Now don't write this number down on your sheet. We want to keep these decimal places so that we don't run into rounding errors later on. Next, what I do is I take 1 divided by the answer that my calculator gave me. And I'll just click ANS to retrieve that. This tells me that RA is 12.606. RA is equal to 12.606 ohms. That's the resistance of these two combined. Now, another way to do this on your calculator, if you have a scientific calculator like mine, is you can type in 21.2. And then if you have this button, click it. That reciprocates 21.2, making it 1 over 21.2. Plus 31.1, and that button again, you get the following value. And then again, you press it a third time to get 12.606. It's up to you which method you choose. So we found RA. And after combining resistors, you want to redraw the circuit, just for reference sake. So this was our power source, our brand new resistor is RA. I'll show it right here, that's RA. And we still have these two, which we haven't combined yet. So the next step is to combine R3 and R4 into a single resistor. Again, they're in parallel, so I'll write down 1 over, this time I'll call it RB, is equal to 1 over R3 plus 1 over R4. So I'll substitute the resistance for R3 and R4 into where they belong. 1 over 12.9 plus 1 over 33.5 is equal to 1 over RB. Let me go ahead and use my calculator really quickly. So I have 1 over 12.9 plus 1 over 33.5. I end up with this value. Then I take 1 divided by that value. And I end up with 9.313. 9.313. Notice that I carry several numbers after the decimal place. You don't want to round as you're doing this because you will run into rounding errors. You want to carry as many numbers after the decimal place to prevent those errors from occurring. So that's RA and that's RB. And let me redraw what I have right now. As I said at the beginning, I want to combine all these resistors into one to simplify the circuit. So notice that RA and RB are in series. They're not in parallel anymore. We'll be using this formula to help us find their total. And the formula is easy. You just add RA and RB together. The combined version will be called RC. And that consists of RA plus RB. So I'll take 12.606 and add it to 9.313, here's what we get. So 12.606 plus 9.313, and that makes 21.919. 21.919 ohms is RC. 
and this is what my circuit looks like now. The next thing that I want to do is find out the current at this resistor. The way we do that is by using Ohm's law, which is V, which represents the voltage, is equal to the current represented as I times the resistance of that resistor. The resistance we just found to be 21.919, that's being multiplied to I, and I'll replace V with 27, which is the voltage. We can find out what I is by simply dividing both sides by 21.919, that will isolate I. So 27 divided by 21.919, again, you don't want to round here. We'll write it down to three numbers after the decimal place, 1.231. And it doesn't hurt to add that extra eight, but I'll stop at 1.231 amps. Ampere is the unit for current. That concludes part one of this video. If you'd like to see how we individually find out the voltage and current across the resistors, be sure to watch part two where that part is covered.